Look at Yo, this guy. what's up? What's up, fish head? Yo, it's me, the fucking fish, bitch. Wow. Feed me some fish food. <laughs> <laughs> who's under that fish mask? You'll I never wonder. guess who's under this mask, bitch. Don't call me that. What? Don't call me that. Oh my God, that's so disrespectful. It's so disrespectful. I'll fucking eat your ass, bitch. All right. That's just gross. Ta da. <laughs> Who is it? Who's under there? Oh, that. shit. Hey, look who it is. It's me. It's me, Brendan. This guy. Hurry, get your headphones on. Yeah, better hurry up. You gotta, well, you gotta hear your friend. Yep. Hey, everybody. Hey, fish man. <laughs> Check one, two. What's up, fish man? One, one, one. One, one, two. One, 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 one. Yeah. Two, two. All right. Uh, hey, everybody. Hey, it's Laser Wang, everybody. Hey, with Laser hey, Wang. Hey, everybody. Hey, what's up? Woo! How you doing today? <laughs> it's Laser Wang. <laughs> We've missed you. Ah. It's been too long. <laughs> I like that look. Yeah. So wait, you shaved your I'm... chest? Yeah, I shaved it all. Get it ready for you. <laughs> I am here to get all of the pussies and the money. <laughs> I get pussies, I sell pussies, and I get money. <laughs> how, how long ago did you shave your chest? Eh, maybe four or five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you it's know. already grown back. Yeah. For my nipples to look big. Oh, that's big. Big nipples is a good thing in Russian culture. Oh, fuck. It is very good. I get so many pussies for that. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Yeah. So uh, what have you been up to besides um, get to selling pussies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I sell them. I make all of monies. And then I can buy more pussies, and then I use them, sell them again. Why do you have to be so crude? What are you drinking? Oh, dude, what is that? <laughs> Who's that guy? Wait, who is that little guy you just kissed? That's Pan. Oh damn! Uh, what do you worship <laughs> that guy or something? <laughs> Oh, is it a whistle? Oh, we oh, can't hear it because of the it. Zoom. Oh, Man. you can't hear it. It's a whistle. Yeah. That's cool. Where did I you had get... this thing for decades. Yeah. Where did you it get was... it? I think originally it was a toy from Burger King. No shit. For what movie? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think it's supposed to be Pan, who is a... He's like the god of the satyrs. He's pansexual. mythology. Yeah. That's where that comes from, probably. Yeah. But I don't know what movie it was from. Well, let's see. Burger King. It's a pan flute. Pan flute. Maybe they yeah. just thought that was a good idea for a toy. I'm sure it was some kind of promotion. From, uh, uh, it's, from I don't know. Nothing's coming up. Maybe it was McDonald's. Maybe. I, I'm sure it says it on the whistle, but it's too small. I can't read. Or do you need to go I'm get like your seven, eyeglasses? I, I need eyeglasses. I'm like 75 years old. I can't see shit anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so what's been going on? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Nothing. Just uh, normal, everyday, humdrum, driving the kids around. Um, you know, selling pussies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you. It, yeah. So have you really been pimping out like? Uh, Russian, like uh, immigrants or whatever. Yeah, yeah I, I have them uh, flown in, usually from like, you know, like the Eastern Bloc countries. Yeah. And um, yeah, they stay in my basement for a little bit and, until I need to make some money and I get rid of them. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> what do you sell? Yeah. Like you sell them? Like people want to buy them to as a as wives or something, or you just sell them like for the night? Like they're just whores. I'll do that in the beginning mm -hmm. and see if, if they're how valuable they are. Mm -hmm. And then I get to a certain point. I'm like, okay, you know, this is, this one is, she's crying too much and you know, whatever I have to do you sell get, her off for, for good. Do you get any from the Ukraine? 
because we have to support oh, yeah. Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah, I get a lot of them from the Ukraine. They're uh, they're leaving in droves. So um, yeah, they come right to my back door. I let them in. You know. And they're Give hot, like, from over there, they're <laughs> hot, right? Like, you can't tell, yeah. like, it's not like they're, like, you know, because you get, like, the the hose from Thailand and stuff, and you can tell they're... They all have there. dicks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have... yeah I've, I've gotten in trouble before with that. Yeah. Jesus. What's... No more from Thailand. Yeah, but um, you don't, um, so you're not down with that? Like, if it's, like, what if the, what if the lady's super hot? And everything about her looks just like a lady, like her face, her hands, her butt, her feet, her legs. <clears throat> but then <clears throat> there's a there's a cock there. Is that there's a deal an breaker? Extra thing poking out. Um, yeah, that's not for me. I mean, I know a lot of people like that. Sometimes but if, I'll hold on to one or one or two of those for people that like it. But somebody who's really. into everything. No, I mean. They call it stick pussy where I'm from. <laughs> you know, pussy on a stick. <laughs> but, that um, doesn't really make yeah, sense because so. there's no pussy involved, though. It's just a stick. But I guess you could always just have sex with yeah. them in their butt, right? Anything can be a pussy if you're, you know, if you're imaginative. <laughs> did you ever, what, did you ever make a pussy at your house, like out of any kind of household products? Like a fifi, they call it. In oh. jail, they call it a fifi. I what, think. what are they called? A fifi? A fifi. <clears throat> like and a this guy I know, he said. Uh, he said when he was in like a, a juvie or a rehab or something, they made fifis. They would take a towel and wrap it a certain way. They knew how to fold it perfectly, and then they would heat it up in the microwave. They would wet it, heat it in the microwave, and then fill it with lo some kind of like lotion. And then they would use it as, you know, as their flashlight, if you will. <laughs> Was is that guy dead now? Who told you about that? No, I think he's still alive. I haven't seen him in years, but uh, oh, okay, he's I've, still around. That sounds like a Mark story. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's dead. Yeah. But, How did uh, he die? <laughs> I think OD'd. Yeah. I, I didn't get the full, the real report, but I'm pretty sure it was an OD. Man. When I'm, did he die? Not that long ago, right? Like a couple of years? Maybe two years ago. Yeah. That sucks. Uh, it's, and it's called a Fifi, like a dog, like Fifi, like a French poodle yeah, or something? Fifi. 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 Okay. And it's made out of a towel, you said? That's what he said. Yeah. I mean, and what I've else did they have? doing it with other things. Yeah, they don't have like bologna and Pringles Well, I think I invented the bologna use. I don't know if anybody you did really- bologna? No, I mean, I just, <laughs> I used to say that- um, you put a slice, two slices of bologna between your mattress and box spring uh -huh. and have sex with that. But that wouldn't, I don't think that's, uh, that would just make such a huge mess. The bologna would get all messed, like it would yeah. get all ground into your like, yeah, that'd yeah. be disgusting. You have like dried yeah. up bologna pieces. Bologna couch. <laughs> yeah, on your couch. Why does everything Wait. in our house smell like bologna? <laughs> <laughs> Did your mom catch you like having sex with your couch or something or your brother? Brendan's shriveled up in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Whole dehydrated from all the bologna fucking. Did it, didn't your mom uh, catch you having sex with your couch or something? No, she didn't. No, but I did something like that with the bologna. I, I, um, I took a plastic bag and put it like you know where the the two cushions meet and yeah and there's the bottom part it's almost like a triangular hole yeah that's like a perfect place to have sex yeah with. i stuffed a plastic bag in there and then filled that with lotion and then i tried <laughs> to you know <laughs> do my thing on that yeah but um it, it didn't it, it 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 was weird it was a weird um shape i think oh uh, you know what, what it was supposed to do well, that's why a mattress and box spring, because you need the, the perfect, yeah, the, you're not getting enough pressure from up top because the cushions are, right. there's too much separation there. Just like having sex with but your wife. But wouldn't that just like smush your wiener? Like a mattress and a box spring, like a heavy mattress. Wouldn't that just no. like that's You want that, it? you need that pressure. You want it smushed? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's right. That's like when people do like butthole stuff. That's what they're looking for. Oh, yeah. 
their wiener mm-hmm. to get smushed. But all stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever used this flashlight or Brendan no, or laser I've one? Never tried that. Um, there I try, seems I to be one. some new some new inventions that that seem pretty crazy. They have a suck machine. This is a brand new stroke of pocket pussy, and it is awesome. A dick suck machine? Yeah. Big thrusting thrusties. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let's call this place. You should see. try one. I'm sure it's like They're too nice. expensive to just kind of casually try because, you know, I was right. gifted a fleshlight years ago um, when I was on the Joe Rogan podcast when he first started. I guess Fleshlight was his sponsor. <laughs> and he gave everyone a Fleshlight. I'm like, I don't want one of those. And he's like, just take it. It's great. And, um, yeah, I think I used it once and then threw it away. Cause I was just like, I don't want this fucking thing around. Well, like I used to have a joke about that. Like if you, you know, about how like all women, like having vibrators is just like accepted and just like, Oh, I have my vibrator. Oh, he yeah. found my vibrator. Well, because like, it doesn't look like a giant <clears throat> flashlight with it's a not vagina gross. on the top. It's not weird. Yeah. It's like guys like having sex with a thing is just, it's not as innocuous <laughs> as a lady with just like a little, you know, some little thing. But instead, you know, guys, the only things available to guys are just like, it's got to be like this big, like that suck machine thing. It's like a big piece of machinery. (laughs) And my whole thing is like, number one, you know, (laughs) 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 you try it and then you feel stupid after you use it. What are you doing down there? (laughs) Nothing, mom. (laughs) I'm looking for a job. I'm filling out job applications. (laughs) I'm on the phone with a job. (laughs) So you used it once though. And Uh, did you like it? Yeah, I think, no, it's, it's like, it's like, just use your hand. It's like, just use your hand. That's the thing with all these, I'm sure like the motorized, well, the other thing is too, it's like, you always think like, well, if something happens to me, like if I leave my apartment today and get hit by a car and die, people are going to have to go through my place (laughs) and they're going to be like, oh, look, look what there, he's got a flashlight here. And you can't be like, no, yeah. Joe Rogan gave Joe Rogan yeah. made me. I only used it once. <laughs> yeah. So you got to throw it down the Let's trash see. chute. No, that's where you put it. Anymore. You put it in the. I trash I, chute. I, used to, I don't have. I don't really. I don't have any memories. I don't have specific memories, but I mean, I think I was living at that apartment, and it had a trash chute. That was the best thing in the world. I remember. You ever have a trash? No, you never had a trash chute. You've never really lived in like an apartment building, have you? Not in a building. I yeah. the only I lived I lived in an apartment. It was like a duplex where I lived on the top floor and some lived on the bottom. But right, that was a, you and big you, complex. You and Paul lived on the top floor, and a couple sluts lived on the bottom floor. <laughs> it was an old biker chick and her kids. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you ever bang her? No, Paul tried to bang her a couple of times. I think, but <laughs> no, no, it didn't happen. <laughs> How old was she? I mean, in hindsight, she was probably like 30 or something. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was probably, we were probably 20 and she was 21. <laughs> you know, but, but from all the meth, she looked really old. Uh, yeah. You know what I was thinking too? Yeah, she, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, I was going to say she, um, no, she, she was like, she looked like she was really good looking when she was younger. Yeah. But um, she was, you know, a little beat up, but. Yeah, the alcohol too. There's like, uh, like you see those like drunk, like those alcoholic ladies. Um, yeah. That just like sometimes you could tell it's like, oh, they they probably had like a pretty face or whatever before it got all like weird, you know. Just because like generally, if you're a if you're an alcoholic lady, you you smoke too. So yes. the like combination of like smoking and drinking, and then once you get into your 40s i guess i mean i think there's some women you just like you know like those kensington just they like they're like skinny but they have like a gut you know you know what i'm talking about <laughs> and then like, their skin just looks kind like, of discolored like yeah gray all leathery and yeah. brown and gray yeah you know what i noticed from the the women that drink too much or smoke too much they have wrinkles on their their upper lip yeah 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 that's from smoking that, that's the thing yeah i guess that's from smoking yeah like up that's here that's the thing i always notice yeah yeah my mom has those my mom has bad wrinkles 
Oh, you I smoke. smoke? See, I don't. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't really drink. That's why I look um, so young. But she gets blowers cramp. <laughs> <laughs> What's blowers cramp? <laughs> you know what it is. Every day neck? you get that. Like every, 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 every day. <laughs> I used to. Yeah. Was that a real? Cigarette? It's not comfortable. <laughs> no, it's a vape. He's got a vape. Dude, I have all kinds of vapes. But I look. I mean, yeah. look at my skin. It's. It's tight. I don't really have any wrinkles except on my forehead. Mm-hmm. She's fishing for compl- compliments. Don't do fall I look in- young? Don't, don't fall into her trap. Laser, laser wang, wang. Do I look young? Don't fall into yeah, her trap. Very, uh... Everybody says I look like a little kid. Okay, if if uh, the A train was one of <laughs> your isn't uh, very good. <laughs> what? If the A train was one of your whores, what do you think you would get a night for her? Aaron, show the A train. <laughs> I would say maybe three thousand, four thousand dollars, something like this. No, That's not bad. On. That's pretty good. Yeah. For uh, for for anything else. They would goes. use her so much. <laughs> bang bang bang! Oh my goodness. I wish that would be an, a cool life, like being a high price escort. Three thousand dollars. Come on. Mm. I'm basically a virgin. I've had two kids, but I'm basically a virgin. Or three thousand dollars? No, three thousand dollars just to sell her off. Oh, Oh, okay. No, I'm talking about (laughs) renting her out. I ran. I don't know. Five hundred a night. Five hundred a night. What? I I thought three thousand sounded better. I think maybe like a hundred and fifty. What? For a whole night? Damn. That's not even that much money. For like, I mean, that's like like one one trip to Target. To, to sell myself for like just to I go mean, and let a guy bang you like yeah, a quick pull up you know like pull up though. in the car hj and then roll out yeah i do it I, a hand job okay that's fine hand job in the car that's 150. So but i'm not talking sex so, so you're saying she's a street walker level <laughs> <laughs> well no I'm, I'm just talking about the prices i get yeah I, I don't think I would do well yeah. on the street because people prices, would think I was a little kid. How much would you charge to give a guy a hand job in a car? How like, much would I charge a guy? No, you like say? you're you have to give a guy a hand job, like you're prostituting yourself. How much okay. to to give a guy a hand job? Uh, one seventy five, I guess. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's not that much. <laughs> Why not? Like it's like I've done worse in my life. I I can imagine. Hand jobs aren't that bad. Yeah. They can just take a while. Ah, yeah. uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to give a guy a hand job. I mean, you are touching his penis with your hand. Yeah, and then seeing the guy being all into it. Thank would... you for calling. Maybe you could turn. No. Thank you, you for know. calling. Hold on. Store hours. Press one. Thank you for calling. For store hours, press one. For directions, is this a prostitution two. place? For employment <laughs> opportunities, press three. To Could be. With a store associate, press I need four. a job for a hand job. One moment, please. I mean, why not just make it zero? When was the last time? God, when was the last time I gave just a straight up hand job? Probably the other night. How can I help you? Hey, how's it going? Um, I have uh, my buddy John. He, he, do you have towels there? Do we have towels? Do you have um, towels there? Towels. Yes. Yes. Um, do you have towels like Fifi towels? Oh, let me put John on the phone. He just got out of prison. Hey, Laser Wang. Hello. 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 This is John. <laughs> What what style of towels do you have? Do you have soft ones? We have beach towels. We have, um, you know, towels for the bathroom. How about like medium size? Yes. They're soft. They fold nice. Yes, we have those. You, okay. I need to fold them into a certain pattern so I can um, so, dude, make a Let hole. Me for you. He has... Are, are, you, are you transferring us to the towel already, department? They already did. See, something sounds weird now. Well, because it's the feedback thing. Yeah. When that's down, it sounds better. 
I want a Fifi towel. <laughs> Girls would ha like hump their pillows and stuff. This is Carolina. How can I help you? Oh. Hey, um, my, I have my friend John on the line. He needs a Fifi a towel, a Fifi towel. He just got out of prison. You need a towel. A Fifi a towel to make a Fifi. Do you have those? Let me have somebody check for you. I don't know why they transfer you to me. Hold on a second. Wait, why did they tra Fifi. where where are Fifi you? Towels. Fifi. Oh, Fifi. Fifi. I mean the state of Hello. The state of all um retail is just completely completely um in why? the toilet. What do you mean? Why? Oh, it's nobody horrible. there what knows happened? anything. They just show up stare at their phone I would be for the, I would if I six, applied to hours. work at Target I'd be the manager of the store in, in one day cuz I know where everything is <laughs> I'm a Target you would know expert. where all the Fifi towels mm -hmm. are they they they'd transfer you to me I'd say a Fifi towel I know exactly the one and the price off the top of my head probably 12.99 <laughs> for a Fifi towel <laughs> It's nice that they put it in the microwave and warm it up that's then it feels yeah, like a real the vagina. Key. That's yeah. uh yeah, that's it's been a real thing. You ever have sex with a girl who has a cold vagina? Yes. Yeah. She ate too much ice cream. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you could put Did you ever remember they had that lube that was like called fire and ice where it would like get hot and then it would get cold? Mm. Or condoms yeah. that would do that? I don't know. Yeah, there was a lot of... That just didn't sound good. That uh, weird stuff. No, yeah. was, I had a... I think I, I had a joke about that. Yeah, there was like lube that was like... Yeah, like five... Like yeah, warming, like hot. Warming lube. Yeah. And uh, my joke was I would just chew... A, I would just choose a bunch of Big Red and use my spit. It was the same. Ew, ew. Big Red That's so gross. That's so gross. It's all like spicy. It's not gross. In your hole. Spicy Thank spit. you for holding. How can I help you today? Hey, we keep getting transferred all over the darn place today. What's going on over there? Oh, I'm sorry about that. How uh, can I help you today? Have we talked to you already? So you're like the 15th person. We keep getting transferred around. We're just looking for Fifi towels. I got John on the line. He just got out of jail. You're looking for what? I'm sorry. What kind of towel? Go ahead, John. I'm gonna put John on the phone. It's it's a Fifi towel. It's called. It's for making Fifis. Yes, you 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 fold them over. You make a hole. You fill them with uh, some sort of lotion, and uh, you have your way with them. But it's called a Fifi, and you need a special towel to make a Fifi. Yeah, the Fifi towels. Okay, I don't think we carry that, but let me double check. Okay. okay. Are you going to put us on hold again? No. Oh. I'm just checking uh, what exactly it is you're looking for. Fifi towel. Fifi with an F? Yeah, so Fifi. Fifi towel. So you, you basically, you get, this is, John used to do this in jail, where you'd get like a towel, like we're assuming you have like a soft towel that you can fold, put it in the microwave, warm it up, Put some sort of lotion in it and then, you know, satisfy yourself or whatever. That's what they would do in jail. Okay. Well, he, we have yeah. towels just in general. That's what you're looking for. Do you know, as, have, do you have any relatives that have ever been in jail or anything like that? No, we don't. No, you, you personally don't know anybody who's ever been to jail? No, I personally don't. Yeah, no. I mean, I didn't until John went to jail. He yeah, was no. peeping. I mean, we have regular towels if you want to come in and check them out yourself. He was peeping. He went to jail because he was peeping. I was peeping. And now I okay. want to make a uh, We have towels if you'd like to come in. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, do you have lotion? Do you sell lotion? Yes. Okay. Do you sell that lube that goes from hot to cold? Fire no, and ice? Don't. It's kind of like if you chewed a pack of Big Red and spit. Like it's that it's like it's like spicy spit no, is what the low move is like. You would find that like at a sex store. We don't have. Ew, that. we're not going. You to know what like though? Ew. I went to Target and they were or CVS. They sell vibrators and shit there. For real. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? Hold on, Laser Wang. Uh, maybe because he just got out of jail. He needs a lot of stuff. Laser. So yeah, I'm gonna okay, come I'm in gonna go ahead and, and um, you have a good probably thing, get a I towel. There's anything else I can help you with? I'm gonna get the the perfect towel for a Fifi. 
And he's okay? probably going to find he might get in like the clothes racks. You know how little kids hide in the clothes racks. Mm -hmm. Hello. And I jump out and I say, surprise. And you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could call a place and see if we can hide in the clothes racks. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this Beefy needs towel. to be, we need to all fix right, this well, after. All right. Well, you have to get my I, yeah i know i love when everyone no, hangs up <laughs> it takes them so long it's, it's like what's their breaking point you know? <laughs> uh i think it just depends on the person like that's the thing is like a store like that everybody that works there is borderline I, oh you know what i don't want to make a, a a sweeping judgment but um my experience when you go to any kind of like department type store discount store or whatever yeah um everybody there's basically retarded mm. you know they just kind of have their <laughs> mouths open you know they breathe through their mouths they got that dead look in their eye see this when is why this national. is why the democrats lose elections because of your the way you think about the working class that's not how i think about the working class i'm just saying that there's no it's it's a it's a whole like there's a whole generation of people that are just <laughs> have been ruined because they've had the internet their whole lives they don't have any they don't have to learn anything they don't have any knowledge like you ask them any question and they just google it maybe it's like the say, education who, system who, failed them who was abraham lincoln they go oh that name sound familiar oh no oh right he was president guy right <laughs> they look it up on their phone they don't there's and no you've done that you've asked someone that that's my main question to, to, <laughs> gauge, to gauge somebody's intelligence. It's all the young people. That's what it is. Yeah, they don't. They don't they know don't anything. Care about anything. They don't care about anything. If it's not on TikTok, they don't care about it. It was. It was like a, you, It was a three pronged attack by the government to make a whole generation of people complacent, fat, and stupid. They mm -hmm. well, but what about all the protests happening on college campuses? Unlimited free pornography. What about the protests on college campuses? I mean, there's some That's kids who there's the some box. kids who uh, yeah, no, and then it's not. and then That's and, horrible. and then the kid and then the cops just come in and smash them. There's no like everybody with their uh, Instagram posts, all eyes on <laughs> Rafa. It's like oh, if only there was another way to stop a genocide besides in Instagram posts. Like, wouldn't it be great if we created like <laughs> right. an army? that was there to defend people and yeah. fight, you know, it, wouldn't it be, I mean, this is a crazy idea, but what if we invented like a military that actually helped people and defended people? Well, I mean, that's that, a crazy but idea. We, but we defend Israel, I guess. That's no, we don't problem. do anything. It's, it's. Do your girls have TikTok? No. Do they have uh, smartphones? My older one does. And what, she has Instagram. Do you go but, through uh, her? Um, do you ever go through her phone and see what she's been up to? Yes. What? Yeah. What's? Uh, did you ever find anything? No. No. My my kids are very um, very well behaved and yeah. You know, like we're we're kind of we're on top of them all the time, so they're not doing anything weird. There, there's girls in her school. That are doing weird stuff, but she's not one of them. How old is she? Is she thirteen. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's gonna get into some weird shit soon. I remember. I remember girls having sex at thirteen. Is that crazy? Yeah. Twelve years old, thirteen. Doing. I always that? say that. I was like, if they had like the things I was doing at thirteen, right? I I wouldn't even. Uh, I I couldn't even imagine. I know. Any other children doing well? They live, and you are doing it. It's they crazy. live in a whole. Yeah. Um, this is the same problem. Uh, they live in a whole different universe than you lived in when you were thirteen, though. Yes. You know, I mean, I when we were talking on the phone a couple weeks ago, you oh. described our like we were talking about just how like, you know, like when I left Philadelphia and started moving around and just like realizing that people like what especially when like i mean well john lives in the suburbs now or whatever so he's uh he's around people who didn't grow up in like in the environments we grew up in and john described mm -hmm. he was like 
he described what we grew up in as pure violence <laughs> and i'm like that's it's true <laughs> it's true it's like it's it, it was like you were constantly <laughs> just like ready to be attacked you yeah. were ready like it could it could happen out of nowhere like you could just be walking down the street you turn a corner and then there's just like five guys there that are like let's kick the shit out of this yeah, guy and you're like fuck that's no just reason. like that's the way it happens yeah. or you could even go someplace with people that you think are your friends and they have a plan to beat the shit out of you what like they all got together and thought it would be funny to beat you up and you're I've had that happen yeah what so that's uh that was uh i thought that was a good description in that laser wang had of our um childhood Ooh. as pure violence but you <laughs> and how some people just don't get it yeah like especially when like, you know, I mean, I ventured further away than Laser Wang. I mean, he moved a few miles up the road into the suburbs. But, like, when I moved to, like, Texas, you know, when I started moving around to, like, drastically different places and realizing, because we, I didn't even have an, any idea of, like, what rich was. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you would think, like, oh, that guy's rich. But he still lived in your shitty neighborhood. Yeah. And you're, like, just like, oh, he, he's just got, like, a big shitty house in our neighborhood. And then you he realize, like. nicer TV. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, they got they got Atari and uh, Commodore 64. Um, and then when you move away and you realize, like, oh, this kid. Oh, this guy's dad, like, owns like exxon. exxon like this this guy oh his like they own like half of you know a city <laughs> yeah <laughs> and and then and when you're like kind of telling like and i think that people i don't know if people thought that like maybe i was full of shit like you know like you would tell crazy stories about shit that happened to you and then like you know sometimes you would have these like rich kids you know people who i i feel like that when you're born totally spoiled and like never had any challenges in your life you romanticize that like yeah. you're like oh man like you know that would be so cool to like struggle or whatever yeah. you know and so you would have guys who's who like you know could afford to buy a house but they would have roommates and kind of play a lot like you know yeah, kind of yeah, cosplay yeah. as like oh yeah man i'm broke too and then meanwhile it's just like you know they have a unlimited credit card they can use yeah um but i think that like yeah it's it's uh i like i think to an outside person some of our stories are completely unbelievable yeah i i have a lot of stories that people really think i'm a bullshitter until they get to know me better and realize that I don't bullshit unless, unless I'm just making a joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you're not bullshitting about the prostitutes in your basement or oh, no, that's, that's all that's real. Brilliant. I mean, I, you don't, you can't really understand it until you go to Philadelphia and go into those neighborhoods Ooh. and you're like, okay, <laughs> yeah, this man. is not, you know, like even uh, Brendan would say like, well, you grew up in LA, like with the homeless. I'm like, well, yeah, but not like, I don't yeah. know. It's not as concentrated, I guess, like it is in certain parts of. Um, I was telling Brendan that I meet people out here, and um, it, I, I'm talking to them, and, and after a little while, I'm like, "Wow, this guy's really nice, and you know, good guy, and everything." And I'm like, "This guy's never been punched in the face, <laughs> and, and, and he just doesn't get it." <laughs> like I grew up my whole life, either getting punched in the face or punching someone in the face, <laughs> or thinking about is this guy walking towards me going to punch me in the face? Yeah. Like that was, that was every single day. It was, someone was getting punched in the face. That's so it, crazy. There wasn't even and, anything. And then, yeah. What were you going to say? No, no, no. You go, you go. Oh, I was just saying. And then, and then I move out into the suburbs and people are saying, hi, thank you. <laughs> you know, <waving laughs> to me. And, and, and I'm like, it, it, after like, maybe a year i stopped looking over my shoulder i always even like just anything going in the supermarket i was looking over my shoulder i'm like don't let anyone get too close to you because they're gonna punch you in the face yeah you know, like, <laughs> that was just the way it was all the time and it was just day. like random it, just like unprovoked fighting it wasn't there were people that you knew that maybe didn't like you or they were friends with someone else that you had a problem with and you know they would come out of nowhere and punch you in the face but um 
but also it was yeah, a lot just of, like, like uh, guys, like guys and girls, that their whole day was they would wake up and be like, "I'm gonna." By the end of the day, I'm gonna get in at least one or two fights. Like that. Oh. That was their, you know, that was just their whole existence. Like they were just people who would walk around the neighborhood at and look too? for somebody to beat up. Would this happen at school? Like, oh, meet me on the yard or whatever. Like, I mean, that, that always happened. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, they would say, "Meet us at you know at the park at the yeah. park after school, three o'clock." And then we're gonna fight. But I feel like, like didn't like most of them never happened, right? Like I feel like when you make a a, a date, yeah, you can. I mean, just, every like, now and then it would, go. but if, if it was just like, all right, four o'clock, Dorsey Park, Frank and Timmy no, are gonna fight. It, it was a. We would say, "I call you out." Yeah, That's yeah, I call was. you out. Call yeah. you out. That was like grade school. Call you out. Yeah, and you had to show up. If you didn't show up, you would get ridiculed. Yeah, I remember like people not showing up and kind of being like, "Oh, I, my mom wouldn't let me." <laughs> like there was always like some. Excuse. I mean, would you? I wouldn't go. I'd be like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll see you I there," mean, and then I, I would not go. That would take a lot for me. Yeah, I was I never know. really cut out like that. But to like go home from school, like eat a sandwich, get ready hang out, watch TV, and then be like, oh, okay, I got <laughs> to go. go beat, I got to go get in a fight at 5 o'clock. <laughs> like, it's Straight just like... after G.I. Joe ended at 3.30. <laughs> yeah. There, I don't think uh, there was fight. one fight in my whole education, my whole life. I've never get, been in a fight. I don't think I've ever seen anybody get into a fight. Well, that's because you're... <laughs> I grew up in the suburbs. That, that, that's why. That sounds totally crazy like literally yeah. i don't think i've i've never seen anybody hit someone else i've never seen it in person ever that is completely insane this i watched people like again watch people get punched in the face every single weekend at least <laughs> that's crazy and then sometimes during the week that's just crazy <laughs> that's when i go to philadelphia i'm like so shocked by this like uh, this yeah like violent energy where it's like at any time someone's gonna you you feel it in certain parts anyway like mm. that tension of like people are just mad when you're driving people are really mad like when you're driving i feel oh yeah there. yeah that's bad too. Yeah. everybody's angry but i i always remember when you were walking down the street or, or anywhere didn't matter anywhere in philadelphia when, when i was you know young when you're a teenager when you're an adult, it's a little different. But as a teenager, if someone looks at you or if someone looks in your direction, you have to look at them back. And then whoever, it, like you don't want to look down first because mm. if you look down first, then you kind of like lost credibility. You lost but, the staring contest. Yeah, yeah like, but, like chicken. But you... Right, but usually you would continue to stare at each other until one of you said, the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> or, 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 or do you have a problem with your eyes? That was a big one too. You have a problem with your fucking eyes? <laughs> and, then, um, and then either the one guy would back down or you would fight. That was like, that was just, that was it. That was just so weird. Like total commonplace. It was, like, it was like eating a Twinkie. But you were like a good, you were probably a tough, right? Like you were a good fighter. Laser Wang lived in really. his neighborhood. His neighborhood was uh, way worse than mine. And Before and then, when did you move to the suburbs? Like when you were an adult, or yeah, when he was an when adult. I was in my 30s. Oh, yeah, I thought when he was you in meant thirty. Oh, no, I didn't his know. His mom and does your mom still live? Your mom lives probably somewhere nicer now, right? No, she she moved to the south and then she oh, just right. moved back. But she's she's living in Pennsylvania now, but in you know in a different part. In, in the suburbs, not the city. His mom was a belly dancer. I know. I was just <laughs> thinking was. about that. when it, when you talk about your mom, I picture a woman like in a belly dancer, like a so do I a costume. You know, I picture his mom in that belly dancer costume. She would we, wear that like around. We, we went to a dinner one. Didn't we went to dinner one time where she worked? Yeah. My <laughs> my sixteenth birthday, I think it was. <laughs> yeah. Were and, you guys all horny for her? No, wasn't she pretty? She was. I mean, she definitely was like out of all the moms, she was very young, and she was pretty, but she was also mm. just like 
so much of like a mom like she reminded me of my like her her john laser wang's mom and my mom were like kind of annoying in the same way <laughs> so that mm. prevented me from being sexually attracted to his mom because it reminded you of your mom <laughs> well she yeah. was just yeah it was just like there was she was too much of like a mom like there was nothing like sexy like flirty, about her or whatever yeah, where she's like hey boy it was just like you know weird kind of mom advice all the time <laughs> and uh she didn't hook up but, with any of your friends yeah. then that's good i'm sure yeah. paul tried to bang your mom <laughs> yeah paul used to say stuff all the time <laughs> <laughs> i think <laughs> i remember is, i kind of like <laughs> remember because so you had your and this is a weird idea too you had your 16th birthday at this like middle eastern restaurant where your mom was a belly dancer and your mom was was she was belly she was working right yeah i think she danced and i kind of have a picture <laughs> of yeah i think she did i kind of i remember that mm -hmm. and i kind of have an image in my head like almost like at a strip club of paul like trying to position his penis in his like trying to get a lap dance from yeah. your mom <laughs> I think he fingered her that day. <laughs> I'm like, Paul, stop. It's my birthday. Stop it. <laughs> stop like, fingering oh, my mother. <laughs> well, no, it was one of those things where you, you would you would tip the belly dancers. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, like, not, you know, they weren't naked. They had their costumes they on. They weren't you naked. You would put dollars in, like, the little waistband yeah. of the, the, the bottoms. And I think Paul did that to my mom a couple of times trying to get in there and, uh, oh yeah well paul was trying to get it get in anything good who is this paul is we've talked Ramsdale? about paul we've talked about we've t i feel like we always get on the paul uh topic I, well you. i don't remember paul paul's the one when they put belts around the girls necks uh they were having sex with their neighbors oh yeah and uh <laughs> and they decided to do weird things just to see if the other one would tell if the girls would tell each other oh, like, right, right, last right. night paul put a belt on, oh my god john put a belt around my neck too that's scary and i would like not putting, let a guy put a belt around my putting neck. hats over their heads oh, so they couldn't you, see you wouldn't have back then no way putting uh yeah. putting a hat over their if you came eyes to, to my apartment with me and paul <laughs> You would have had more than one belt around your neck. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I are guarantee you doing? it. <laughs> and you did. And a Gemini hat pulled down over your eyes while Paul snuck yeah. into the room and watched or whatever. Right. What was Yes. <laughs> you guys are doing crazy stuff. Yeah, that was a good time. Are you do yeah. you guys still talk to him? I yeah. don't. Yeah. He was always more I, uh, he was a John he was a laser wang friend. Mm. Yeah, he's he's been my friend since first grade. <laughs> yeah, he's like he's like Laser Wang's Jerry Volpe. Okay. <laughs> but Jerry he's, Volpe uh, wasn't like that. He wasn't a horny guy like that. We I never had any sex. Your call friends. has been forwarded to voice. I never had any like sex friends where I did weird sex things. <laughs> 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 I was always very private with my sexuality. Well, you're a very like only in the best way. You're not like a perverted sex guy. Gay? Yeah, you're not gay. gay. <laughs> no, you're not gay. No, he is gay. <laughs> no. Might be. Anyone that's not any man that's perverted is gay. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> um, can you can you hear me okay? Yeah, hi. Hi. Um, I have my friend Laser uh jo he just my friend John just got oh, out you, of you just cut out. I'm so sorry. Oh, you can you hear me now? Yes, now I can. Okay. Uh, can you hear John? John, can you say something? Hi, Sheila. <laughs> it's not Sheila, but I can hear John. Okay. Well, oh, you're, you're not <laughs> Sheila. What's your name? No. What's your name? Um, I'm not really comfortable answering Oh, that's cool. That right now I get it. I get it. Yeah, no, Hi. you're at work and, uh, you have, um, yeah. you, it's like, uh, you have clothes there, right? John just got out of, uh, jail yeah, no for peeping. Oh, God. Well, He's well, no. Gotta, it's, gotta I'm, get a new outfit then, huh? Yeah, it's time to get him a new outfit. He just got a towel. He's gonna make a fifi when he okay. gets home. Um, yeah. Do you have like clothes? Like, do you have like racks of clothes that he can hide inside of? Like. No, I don't think it's that kind of business. Well, no. Like, do you? Like, like you know how little kids like will get in the clothes racks at like Macy's or whatever. 
when you're a little yeah, kid? I mean, you can probably go to a department store and do that if that's what he wants to do, but we don't really do that kind of behavior here. No, but hey, I... T- t- Teresa, here, here's what I'm planning on doing. Uh, I want to come in, hide inside of the clothes rack, and then when you walk by, I jump out and they say, surprise, I got you, Teresa, like that. Well, we have a lot of breakable items and vintage items in here, so I would not recommend that because if you break something, you will have to buy it. That's fine with me. John's I, rich. I, yeah. John's his, rich. What if well, I just dad. crawl out from the bottom so I don't disturb any of the items as I as I jump out? I say, surprise, Teresa, I got your ankle, like that. Well, like, if you guys want to come in and purchase things, then you're yeah. more than welcome to but, as a customer, but you guys can't come in and just like play around. No, no, we wouldn't. Wait, what if we bought things and John kind of just slivered around on the floor a little bit? I don't think we would tolerate that behavior either. What would you do? Would you call the police? No, I don't think we would go that far necessarily, but do you have a yeah, sec- if you guys want to come in during business hours, you're more than welcome, but we are busy at the moment, so I'm going to have to end this call. How many but people are there? Teresa, can we talk I'm good to- at doing front rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Did Teresa hang up? Yeah, 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 she hung up, but we could call another place. Because I like the idea of hiding in the clothes racks. Mm-hmm. Surprise. I Surprise, got you. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking we should make a, a Laser Wang t-shirt, like a limited edition Laser yeah. Wang t-shirt. You want to help me design that, Laser Wang? Or sure. I could run some, uh, maybe just send me some good like uh, some a- pictures. Yeah. Hey, check out this chain that I got. You guys like that? That's nice. What is that? Is that gold? silver nice my my neighbor has a um like a precious metal store oh. okay so i told him i said I, I need a good shiny chain to go with my outfit and he's like oh yeah i got this and he's like i was just gonna melt it down so here you go oh wow what's he gonna melt it down for for i don't know for metal stuff selling metals do you ever go to his place i've never been there hmm did you meet my neighbor, my next door neighbor? No. How can I help you? Hey, how's it going? Um, I have, uh, this is Beeman, I, I represent, uh, are you familiar with uh, the ra- he's, uh, the rapper Laser Wang? Hey, how you doing? Uh, okay. Well, he just got out of jail. I'm sure you heard about all, whatever, it was in the news, but laser. I have Laser Wang on the line. He just got out of jail and he wanted to come in and get some clothes. Okay, well, so we're mainly a women's clothing store. That's um, good. So I'm not sure what he's looking for in particular, but I don't know if we have the exact clothing that well, you're looking for. That's good. What's your, na- what's your name, B-Girl? For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. Patreon.com slash world record podcast. World record.